Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name's Emily. And if you do, well then, welcome back to my channel. So today I just thought I would do a little vlog. Like not a day in the life, because I want to do another another video on that. But just like a little vlog over the past two days, because I'm currently in isolation. Melbourne. Melbourne's in isolation, so that's pretty boring. So there's not really much... To film because like I can't really go out anywhere or do anything interesting but I have an appointment at 10 30 today just a physio appointment at the hospital and then Isla has an appointment tomorrow I'm not sure what time because they normally call me in the morning and then tell me sorry my physio just calls me um but yeah they normally call me in the morning and ask questions like how she's going and they tell me when I can come in but luckily um her appointments now move to down the road like two minutes away so I can just walk there myself now um so <laughs> today's probably gonna be pretty boring because like there's really nothing to do besides the appointment that I have and then I might do some washing, but that's like pretty boring. And then we might go for a little walk. Depends how the weather is because it's looking really good now, but not that windy actually, surprisingly, cause it's been raining the past couple of days. Anyway, so I don't know what time it is. I think it's like 9.15. So I should probably start getting ready. And then getting Isla ready and then I've got to put her pram into my mum's car which is like a mission and a half because mum's car is not the biggest. Yeah, okay, I might have to <clears throat> get myself ready and then I'll get Isla ready. She's going to need new clothes because she spewed all over them in the morning. <laughs> but no, we had a really good night last night. Like... She normally, I don't know, she has nights where she can sleep, like, do almost like a six hour gap, which is like amazing. But then the past two nights, she's just been wanting to be held and not want to be put down. So she's been sleeping with us, which is like really straining because I just, I want to sleep without a baby because I'm, I'm, I'm scared to like squish her. <laughs> um, but no, she she's she's been a bit difficult but that's okay we love her but anyway i'll see you guys when i'm either getting ready or when i'm getting isla ready i'm not sure when i I'll, I'll try and find stuff to do today to film to just to make it a bit more interesting i'll see you guys whenever i film next I've just done my hair and a bit of makeup because I was just feeling like I needed some today. And I'm about to get ready, but I thought I would just show you how I'm trying to get my body back into my pre-pregnancy body. A lot of body, a lot of people's bodies are different. Some bounce back, some don't. That's okay. So I'm currently like four weeks postpartum, and this is my belly as you can tell i've got loads of stretch marks but that's totally okay you gotta learn to love your body i'm super like jiggly and stretchy but i just thought i would show you what i do to help me get rid of them and to help me just suck everything back in so i'm using um just bio oil skin oil like I've heard that like it's really 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 good formulated to help keep skin supple and moist thereby helping to reduce the possibility of stretch marks forming during pregnancy teenage growth spurts and rapid weight gain helps improve the appearance of existing stretch marks I try and do this every day but to be honest with you it's hard lather that on the hospital gave me one of these bands they gave me one during 
um, my pregnancy, which was a size bigger than this, just to help with my back pain and everything. But now they've given me a size smaller to like just help everything. So this is the band on. It just goes around and I've had to double it because it's really, really long. So I've had to double it because it is super duper long, but it just helps tuck everything in and it helps me put on my pre-pregnancy jeans, which I still can't really fit into, but I like to tell myself that I can. I just thought I would come and show you guys how I'm helping to reduce my stretch marks and how I'm helping to just suck everything back into my tummy, which obviously would take a lot longer. But like I said, I am four weeks postpartum, so I think I'm doing pretty well for only having a baby four weeks ago. Hopefully we can video the progress and I can be a twig. <laughs> so I'm back from my appointment. I've been back for about an hour or so. I, I just needed to be fed, so I fed her. She's just having she's just having some some playtime. So when I got home I had a package and I really wanted to open it on camera for you guys. So before I had Isla, Harley and I were really unsure of what kind of products we wanted to use on Isla because we weren't sure if she was gonna be sensitive to some or how we were gonna like them. But then Harley's sister, so my sister-in-law, actually gave us a bunch of nappies that she didn't need anymore, which were really, really good, because, like, the more that kind of stuff you can get, the better. So, like, okay, thank you. And we ended up taking these nappies to the hospital with us and everything, but we only had, I think, like, two packets, which were really upsetting because we absolutely love, 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 love the brand. This isn't sponsored or anything. I don't, I'm not that up in YouTube to get sponsored yet. It is Tushy. So I'll put here just, just simply how you can get this and everything. I just thought I would promote this brand a bit because it is an amazing company and Isla doesn't get any rashes when we use these products on her. Um, she has a little rash on her bum just because we've had to change nappies, like brands of nappies so many times. But these are really good. So we just got a bundle, which is new. So all this is new, um, the bundle. So you can get, you can change the bundle up. So she's still a newborn. So we, we ordered four newborn nappies, like, packs but we should have probably ordered two newborn and two infant just because she is getting fat but we didn't because we didn't really think of that first and then it comes with wipes and everything so this is our first time using their wipe so it's just tushy and what i love about this company also is that all the different sizing of the nappies have cute little uh pictures on them so these are the nappies so these are the nappies oh these are a bit different to last time so cute little pairs on them oh these are different to the last ones we had so i think next time we change you you get your other nappies back say hi to everyone okay <laughs> say hi say hi Mm -hmm. yeah. So like it's been about maybe like an hour and a half since I last filmed. Um, I was just having a little nap and I'm just eating some lunch. I just thought I would come here and just talk a little bit about what's going on in the world. As you guys may know i probably have no international viewers but that's okay so melbourne's in stage four lockdown which is quarantining you know allowed to go more than 5k's out of like your area you're only allowed to exercise for, uh for an hour once a day only one person's allowed to go out at a time at your house 
My mom and my stepdad can't go out shopping together. It's only gonna be one of them. So like hairdressers are closed down. No one's allowed to come over, nothing. And I know I have people like that I know and in Melbourne that watch my videos. I just wanted to come here. Just say like there are a lot of resources that you guys can go to if you guys aren't feeling mentally okay. And I know being a young mum, and I've only been a young mum for four weeks, but having a newborn in stages like this is uh, very difficult for me because my dad can't just come down every weekend. He can't come down anymore. Harley's mum can't come over. Harley, two of Harley's sisters haven't even met Isla, which is super upsetting because like she's going to be three months when we come out of this. Because, like, you were in lockdown for six weeks. Mark's... My stepdad's parents haven't met her and everything. So her and I are just cooped up in here. So I know it can be really hard, especially if there's any pregnant mums that are coming up to their due date or are just pregnant in general. Times like these can be really tough because you're only allowed one person in the room and obviously you would want your partner and then girls being girls you want your mum there but you can't i'll leave the mental health numbers down in the description for you guys because i know that this time will be mentally challenging for all of us not just the people that are mums and that are pregnant i just wanted to say you can always reach out to me if you need someone to talk to i've been through my own mental phase and i know it can be challenging and lonely so say that today's boring i'm just gonna put some washing on after this and then put some washing away i've got to put all of isla's washing away we're bathing her tonight so i might film that if i don't then the next clip after this will probably just be tomorrow so yeah, we're just giving Isla a bath at the moment and then I'll probably do some tummy time with her and everything like that and then feed her and put her to bed and then I'll probably go to bed myself because I am quite tired. But I'll definitely film tomorrow because I do want this to be a bit longer. Four week? Yeah, she has a four week checkup, which is not okay because that means she's growing. And then we find out how much she weighs and her length. I think she's. I think she'll be like four point one. I reckon she'll be around sixty centimeters now. Like four point one kilos, and then you think sixty centimeters? I reckon like three point nine. Mm, yeah. I reckon she'll just be below four. Cause she's her last checkup. She was. 3.4 so she's 100 grams above her birth weight which is really good that means she's getting enough milk from me so i'll probably see you guys tomorrow i'll try and film as early in the morning as i can but um don't count me on it so hey guys so it's the next day now i was just woken up for her morning feed we had a pretty bad night last night she didn't she fed at like 12 something and then didn't get to sleep until five something. So Harley and I were up all night with her. I haven't had time. I've had time to brush my hair a bit, but um, I haven't had time to clean my face or have a shower or have breakfast. So I'll probably do that after I feed her. And then I'm still waiting to hear back from the maternal health nurse to see what time my appointment is. So we'll probably just do her appointment today. I have another probably like two, three loads of washing to do. And then I want to bake something. I saw in our cupboard that we have brownies. So um, there's really nothing else that we're going to be able to do because we're stuck in isolation. So I think Holly and I are going to do a little Made My Boyfriend Q&A video for my next video so either in the comments or head over to my instagram i'll put it over next to my face right now so you can head over 
to my Instagram and I'll put on my story just a little question and you guys can ask us questions for us to answer. I think that will be a cute little video, a cute little thing for Harley and I to do together while he's home and I might upload that like Tuesday. So I just wanted to share a little business which is amazing. They do cute little teddies like this. Just has all of Isla's details and like what date she was born, how much she weighed, what time. Absolutely adorable. They do create more cute little crafts. I'll leave her Instagram here. It's just Taryn's Crafts and Creations. I go to TAFE with this girl and she's absolutely amazing. She has the cutest little boy ever. And I just thought I would support a small little business. I actually didn't buy this. She actually gave it to me as a little present for baby Isla. So I just thought I would share her Instagram and a cute little creation that she made for me. If you guys wanted to get anything made up, personalized, anything, head over to her Instagram. She's absolutely amazing and so reliable as well. And I just thought times like these are a bit tough so support a small business so this is my small business i'm supporting planning on actually ordering a couple of more personalized items i just haven't really found anyone that i can trust too much and that is reliable but i never knew that she did this until monday when i got given this cute little bear and i found out she created this and yes so i'll make sure to leave all of her information down in the description she's absolutely a beautiful girl so don't be afraid to message her and get your personalized item just like mine and i absolutely loves it i'll put a photo here but this is obviously not sponsored or anything like that i just wanted to come here and talk about how beautiful this was because she absolutely deserves the little plug that i am giving her so make sure you check her out Hey guys so it's like four o'clock now we um we just came back from her appointment and she's a little milk drunk they are saying that she weighs four kilos which is insane because she weighed 3.4 kilos at her last appointment which was like two weeks ago i think so she's she's put on a lot of weight <laughs> she's put on a lot of weight which is really good because we were a bit worried that she was going to be losing weight because she's been throwing up a lot but they said it's nothing to worry about so thankfully we don't need to worry that much but we do have to go to a doctor's appointment tomorrow just for her because she is throwing up her whole feed sometimes and then me just to make sure i'm mentally okay because mental health is a big issue at these times in the world. We are going to make sure that we are masked up and we are being very careful because as you know, we are in lockdown in Melbourne. Um, it's, I think it's all of Victoria actually, so it's not just us. We didn't end up going for a walk because I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see, but it is absolutely terrible outside like i had a shower before we went because i just after last night i felt like i really needed one but i'm gonna end the video here just because i'll probably end up spending the night just spending it with her and harley because it's the freaking weekend <laughs> um anyway i am planning a fun video for next week and that should be up in like maybe early next week so it's not waiting a whole week again but once again thank you so much for watching my video i hope you enjoyed this little vlog i promise to do more videos like this and make them a bit more entertaining it's just a bit hard at the moment when we are in lockdown and we can't go out and do anything but um little miss is just catching up on some sleep that she didn't have last night don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't subscribed or yet leave a comment down below also next week's video is going to be a little q a and a meet my boyfriend so leave questions down in the comments below or head over to my instagram i'll leave it in the description and i'll put a little questions on my story 
over the next couple of days and you guys can ask them there don't be afraid to ask us anything we are very open and we are honest about everything once again thank you so much for deciding to watch my video it means a lot don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys next week bye